Hey there, and uh, thank you for watching my uh, YouTube channel called RC Instructor. Uh, this video is going to be the introduction to many series of videos concerning electric micro aircraft. So what's an electric micro aircraft? Uh, RC aircraft. Well, a micro aircraft is one that is extremely lightweight, only one or two ounces. Uh, and this is my definition, not anybody else's. Uh, a lot of things out there uh, in the industry are called micro. And everybody's got their own definition for it. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you what my definition is. So to me, a micro aircraft is one that is very lightweight, one to two ounces, very small, probably 15, 16 inches in wingspan. And part of my definition is what battery does it use? And, and uh, so the, a weight of one to two ounces means the battery is going to be pretty small. Um, most of these micro aircraft that, um, uh, that I've seen out there use a one cell LiPo battery. So we're called a 1S battery. Okay, one cell. Um, because they're so lightweight, <coughs> um, they're easy to fly in calm winds or very light winds. You won't want to take them out on a windy day. Um, you could even fly them indoors in a gymnasium or, uh, or an empty hangar or something like that. So these are airplanes that can easily fly indoors and fly outdoors in, with calm winds. <clears throat> uh, why am I doing this? Because I think some, not necessarily all, but some of these will make very good airplanes for the first time um, person out there that wants to learn to become a, uh, an RC pilot. Um, there are many manufacturers of, um, of these micro-sized airplanes, and I've chosen the Horizon Hobby manufacturer uh, because I like Horizon Hobby's technology and way of designing aircraft and the way they build them plus the technology for the transmitters and receivers and so forth have proven to be very reliable and leading edge. <clears throat> um, so there are uh, eight, uh, I found uh, eight um, aircraft for sale. This is the spring of 2016, so there's eight aircraft for sale. And um, uh, they are the Duet, the Champ, a Corsair, a Mustang, a PT-17, a Sports Cub S, a Spacewalker, and an Extra. Um, <clears throat> from time to time, Horizon Hobby discontinues these and introduces new one, but for right now, these are the ones that are out there for sale. And in this video, I'm going to go over a summary of each one of those eight that I just mentioned, um, giving some details about what it looks like. Uh, the, all the price ranges um, are within a within a range. Uh, the Duet is the cheapest. It's about uh, fifty nine ninety nine. Uh, some are as as uh, expensive as one hundred and forty dollars. So anywhere from sixty to one hundred and forty dollars. Most of them fall within the hundred dollar range, and <clears throat> many of those include um, the transmitter, receiver, and battery and everything you need, including a charger. Um, so for a, what I consider to be a, a good value, you're going to get an airplane with everything you need to start, and that's sometimes where a first person, uh, a first airplane um, for someone interested in the RC hobby can start. Um, in addition to that, uh, I'm going to review in detail uh, things about the battery and so forth, and uh, other things you may want to purchase. But let me first uh, go through those eight airplanes, give, them, give you a description of them, and um, what, their, um, um, uh, what their design characteristics are. I think all of them have a tail wheel and not a nose wheel, because they're all such lightweights, which also makes it easier to fly. Um, so coming up next will be an uh, introduction of each of those air, airplanes. So I'll be right back. So what you see here is the Duet. It is um, 
uh, like all the other airplanes you're going to see, uh, it is a one-piece airplane with no assembly required. This is the Duet is unique because it has two motors and no ailerons and no rudder, meaning that uh, the two motors use differential thrust to turn the airplane. Uh, unlike all the other aircraft you're going to see, this aircraft must use the transmitter that comes with it. Uh, that transmitter in the airplane is not the Spectrum uh, DSM standard, uh, but it's still um, uh, a very inexpensive airplane at $59.99 and is probably a great first airplane for someone who wants to uh, try out the RC hobby without spending a lot. Um, in this series of videos about the Duet, there are going to be many videos about how to set it up, charge it, and fly it, because I want people to understand exactly what this airplane is like in terms of how to fly. So what you see here is the Hobby Zone Champ. Uh, Hobby Zone is a brand of Horizon Hobby. Uh, and uh, so this airplane is a more of a traditional uh, airplane with... Uh, uh, three channels, uh, one for the motor, one for the rudder, and one for the elevator. Uh, it does not have ailerons. Uh, again, it's a one-piece uh, airplane, and um, it does come with a transmitter, uh, which is this uh, Spectrum standard of DSMX, uh, meaning you can use the transmitter that comes with it or you can buy or use any other Spectrum radio to fly it uh, that's DSM, X, DSM compatible. Um, it's a slightly larger airplane, 22 inches, uh, than the um, Duet was 20 inches, so this one's 22. Uh, it also comes with a separate charger um, that's uh, powered by AA batteries, and the, radio, the transmitter that comes with it is also powered by AA batteries. And uh, the kit comes complete with uh, eight AA batteries for all of that. Um, in the that's different than what the Duet had. The Duet uh, just had the transmitter, and uh, you charge the LiPo battery by sticking it into the transmitter. Uh, this one is a little bit more expensive at ninety nine dollars, uh, but because it has a rudder, it will. Um, fly much more like a, uh, a regular RC aircraft. So what you see here is the uh, Spacewalker, um, which comes in both a bind and fly version, meaning uh, you supply your own transmitter. Uh, the bind and fly version is uh, $79.99. Or you can buy the complete kit with a uh, transmitter included for $99.99. Uh, remembering that the transmitter that comes with it isn't as functional functional as some of the other transmitters that you'll that you can buy. I will be reviewing uh, spectrum radios that are appropriate for these kind of airplanes and uh, <clears throat> a separate radio costs anywhere from 60 to two hundred dollars and uh, will provide a lot more functionality than uh, what you get with the um, uh, radio that comes with it. Um, so I'll be reviewing that separately, uh, so look for that. Uh, the Spacewalker um, <clears throat> does, uh, kit does come complete with a charger that's powered with AA batteries. Uh, like all of these kits, uh, one battery comes with it, and the additional batteries cost anywhere from uh, 4 to $5. So this is the uh, P-51 Mustang that you're looking at and it's the first in my series here that has four channels, meaning it has ailerons on the wing along with a rudder, elevator, and motor controls. It's small in that it's uh, 16 inches in size compared to some of the others that were 20 or 22. And it also comes in a bind and fly uh, version uh, where you supply your own radio. Uh, or the uh, ready-to-fly kit will come with the simple transmitter that comes with most of the rest of them. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive. Bind-to-fly version is uh, $99.99, and the uh, ready-to-fly version with a transmitter included is uh, $129.99. So there's a $30 difference there if you want the transmitter. Again, I'll uh, explain uh, 
uh, other transmitter options uh, as we go along in this series. You know, if you buy more than one of these, you will certainly probably save some money to uh, buy the bind and fly version and get a, a better separate uh, radio that can fly all of them. So one radio can fly uh, all of these airplanes, except for the Duet. Um, this is also the first in, this, in my series here that comes with stabilization technology. Stabilization uh, helps you fly the aircraft um, in uh, winds that are a bit stronger, gustier, uh, certainly uh, probably not over 10 miles an hour, but it might fly, uh, it'll easy, easily fly in 5 mile an hour winds uh, because the stabilization will help you fly better. That stabilization is called AS3X and uh, more about that later in a future video uh, about the uh, P-51 Mustang. So what you see here is the Sports Cub S, which is also a four-channel uh, aircraft, RC aircraft, and it's built for training. And it's the only aircraft in this review that has the Spectrum Safe technology, which provides a beginner, intermediate, and advanced mode for all um, pilots of any experience level. Um, however, I always recommend that you have an experienced pilot do the first flight to test everything out before you try to fly it yourself. You'll see this uh, during the first flights of all these aircraft. <clears throat> the ready-to-fly version is what you see here. Um, uh, comes for $129.99, and that includes the six-channel radio that you see, which is a little bit better radio than what's been in some of the others uh, that, that you in this series. However, you still might want to buy the bind and fly version of this without the radio you see in the picture, uh, and that would only be $99.99, and then you can buy a DXE uh, Spectrum DXE radio, which is six channels, for $60, and you get a much better radio, and then that radio could fly um, all of the um, uh, aircraft type, all the aircrafts that you that I've reviewed so far, and the ones coming up, except for the uh, uh, Duet. <clears throat> the four channels does mean that it has ailerons uh, in the wings, plus rudder, elevator, and motor control. And you can see a small charger underneath the uh, radio. Um, uh, that uses a USB plug. Um, so you can plug that into your computer. Or you can plug it into your car um, cigarette lighter. Uh, 12, but you need a 12 volt adapter that adapts a, that 12 volt uh, uh, cigarette lighter uh, to a USB plug. <clears throat> There'll be more on this in later videos. So what you see here is the uh, PT-17 classic biplane with a very scale, realistic appearance. It also has four channels and has the AS3X stabilization technology in it. Uh, it comes only in the bind and fly version for $99.99. So you'd need to buy a separate radio like the DXE radio that I mentioned earlier. Um, it is a smaller wing, 15 uh, inches, and it does come with the same USB style charger as you saw on the last airplane. Uh, but it would be a fun little airplane to fly. Probably not the best first airplane you ever get, but uh, uh, it would be a fun airplane to fly. So this is the uh, another classic war, 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 war bird called a Corsair, F4U Corsair. And as uh, like a lot of warbirds in World War II, um, they were built to um, uh, fly off of a carrier. So they land like they're going to fly and land on a carrier. And so it makes it probably a little bit harder to fly than you might think. Uh, it does come in both a bind and fly version for $109.99 and the ready to fly uh, version for $139.99. does have the LiPo battery charger that's powered by four AA batteries. 
It also has the AS3X stabilization that helps it fly in wind and fly smooth overall. It's a bit smaller with a 16 inch wing and uh, might be tough as a first aircraft but it'll make a very good second aircraft. Uh, so uh, it's a pretty nice airplane. So this is the eighth and last uh, aircraft in this series. It's from E-Flight and it's called the AS3 Extra. Uh, so it has the AS3X technology and the design of the aircraft is uh, an extra um, type aircraft uh, for 3D flying. It comes in the bind and fly only version and costs uh, $99.99. It does have higher torque servos for performing the 3D maneuvers and the black uh, uh, sticks that support it underneath are uh, carbon fiber for extra strength. It does not come with any batteries, LiPo batteries, nor a charger, nor a radio, nor AA batteries. Uh, so it has no batteries, no charger, and no radio. Uh, but it's still $90, $99. I guess uh, Horizon Hobby thinks that if you can fly this one, you already have the other things you need. I would recommend this as a third aircraft after you've mastered some of the others. Okay, you've seen the eight uh, aircraft that I plan to review. Um, I've already done this one once and you can take a look at it, uh, uh, look at the playlist on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, the Sport Cub is already out there, but I'm going to do it again um, because there's some things I think that I can... Uh, I didn't cover with with this one when I did it. <clears throat> I've already started the uh, I already got the duet and have started doing the filming uh, for it and uh, over the next couple of months I'm gonna do all eight and so I hope you stay tuned and uh, look forward to uh, this set of videos about micro aircraft. Thank you for watching.